Hello and welcome back to the final video in my series about Phileas. So this is, as you can see, quite a bit more of a complicated network. We've got four local area networks with four routers. One, two, three, four, uh, used to connect these together. The network's also got a web server and it's also got a DNS server as well. So we can actually see a lot of protocols in action on this network. So to start with at the bottom, we've got a network which is using DHCP. Nice, quick, easy and convenient to connect computers to uh, networks where you're using DHCP. So there we go, we've got that set up there. We've also got uh, two smaller networks. We've got a network here at the top, 192.168.0.0. We've got a network over here, 10.0.0.0. And we've got one over here, 172.16.0.0. So these two networks at the top, sort of like the yellow one and the blue one, pretty straightforward. The green one we know about now as well. Uh, this, this red network has got one, two, three, four, five devices. One of those devices is a web server. You can see there, 172.16.0.100. So that hosts a website. So that website, in theory, should be accessible from any other computer anywhere on the, uh, any of the other networks. What we've also got then as well is we've got a few more routers. We've got one, two, three, four. And these routers are, you can see, uh, I, well, this one at the bottom has one, two, three, four connections. So it has four network interface cards. Each one of those connections, if I just come off play mode, each one of those connections will have a, an IP address. So this router essentially has four IP addresses, one for uh, this network, one for the network connects, that connects it to this router, one for this network, and one for sort of like this network between this router and this router. And so we've got this sort of like multiple path, because of course to get from this green network to this red network, I could go from here to here, to here, or I could actually go from here to here to here to here. There's a few different ways uh, that it could go. And so Phileas is great. You can actually create, you know, you could have more routers uh, set up, but of course it gets more complicated. So you can imagine that this is kind of like a smaller version of the internet. And of course we know that DNS, domain name system, uh, makes it easier, easier for human beings to access web pages because we just have to remember domain names and not IP addresses. So we've actually got a DNS server that's set up on this little network here called 3.0.0.5. Uh, so what we can do then is let's click play. Okay, so the DHCP part of the network does a bit of configuring IP addresses. There we go, each one's got a unique IP address, so that's, that's absolutely fine. And okay, so let's try connecting to the uh, web server. So let's go to this computer up here. It's already got a web browser installed, so I've been to it before already. So let's go 172.16.0.100. Okay, so when I so that's over here, we're from here. So we should see some connectivity uh, with some green flashing lines. Have a look. There we go. We can see the web page is being loaded. It takes a little bit of time. Okay, because remember all the data is split into packets. So if I do a little right click on here, say show data exchange, and uh, then we actually get um, quite a bit of, uh, we can see what's actually happening. So we've actually got a, a pro protocol called the routing information protocol, uh, which is essentially a, well, a routing protocol, which is checking out the best routes to be taking. We've also got the uh, TCP, uh, synchronize the, uh, the acknowledgement and then the so basically the uh, TCP handshake uh, and then we've got the first HTTP get request and then we, it then asks for the website like HTTP uh, oops, get uh, and then it also um, sent, starts to send across the picture so we can see at the different layers uh, what's actually happening at the different layers there. Then to finish off with, we've got the sort of like the sequence and acknowledge, and then we've got the final um, finish acknowledgement there as well. So we've got, you know, you can see there's quite a bit of um, activity there. Okay, so let's close that off. Uh, so, but of course we've got this DNS server. So let's go to, um, let's go to this computer here. Uh, so we're on this one. Let's install a web browser. There we go. Apply those changes. Okay, so now I've got a web browser. So if I type 
uh, ada.ac.uk. This computer, as you can see, never didn't have a um, web browser installed. So if I hover over it though, you can see it's got the DNS server set as 3.0.0.5. So it knows where the DNS server is. And it knows where the DNS server is because that was configured from the, um, the DHCP server. Okay, so when I press this, it should send a request out to the DNS server saying, hey, do you know where I can find the ada.ac.uk computer? And it should send an IP address back. Let's see what happens. There we go. Did you see it uh, connect to the DNS server first? And then obviously get the IP address and then it knew which computer to connect to. And there we go. There's the website. So let's let's actually check that. So let's actually, uh, so if we do a right click on here and say show data exchange. Okay, and we scroll down. We can see we've got uh, a DNS, uh, we've got a few DNS requests actually. So the one that we're looking for is, let's oh, actually need to scroll down a little bit. Uh, so there it is. So the DNS request 10.1.1.10. Uh, and it was asking, let's have a look, can we actually see what it says? Okay, so it's asking for ada.ac.uk. We can see that here. Uh, and if we look at the one underneath, okay, we can actually see it replies, uh, ah, the ada.ac.uk address can be found at 172.16.0.100, which is correct. Uh, and so then it's actually done its job. So then if I close uh, that, just close some of these little tabs. Let's go back to have a look at the data exchange for this one. So if I scroll this down to the bottom, uh, we can see there's the DNS. So there's the DNS request going out. And there it is coming back, 172.16.0.100. Once it's got that, it can then actually then try and initiate a TCP connection to that machine. And then it can actually then do the HTTP uh, well, get request and then get the contents of the website. And then that's what happens uh, for the duration. So you can see that this website's a little bit more complicated, uh, but um, this is why I planned it out really well with the different colors and like, making sure I labeled it all up. You can download this file, have a play around with it if you like, and you might be able to try and make a, an even more complicated network. Okay, hope that's been interesting. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, please get in touch with me.